Hi guys, Thomas and Friends 47 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Trackmaster 2 Thomas and Ace the Racer. I'm so excited to start this review. So first, let's take a look at the Thomas that's included in this. It's actually a very nice model. You'll notice down here, let me angle this more toward the light. You'll see it has brown muddy wheels. I love that. And the printing on here is spectacular. It's um, supposed to be like he's in the rainforest, so you have all this uh, water going down. You have mud detail and foliage detail. Your little snake, don't like the snake as much, but still cool. Little vines there. Even an exclusive face, which is my favorite part about this. You'll also notice up here, too, even this back sticker is decorated with leaves and rainwater. Here's the other side of the model, which is basically the same. It's just been reversed. No print at all on the back. There is some print on the roof, however. You'll notice this little big leaf up here with a frog in this little vine. Um, for those who have not seen the movie Big World Big Adventures, go ahead and hit pause now because I'm going to say a spoiler. I'm going to give you a second. Okay. Um, I wish they would have printed a leaf right down here on the water tank. Uh, that would have been a cool little, you know, uh, Easter egg to the movie. I wish they'd done that. But anyway, still pretty cool. I also discovered something which isn't super noticeable, so I brought in my custom Dirty Thomas here, which I'm going to be doing a video on very soon. You'll notice that these front wheels are different than these. So this is an older Trackmaster 2 Thomas right here, and these uh, wheel flanges are just a little bit more rounded on the corners, and these have a sharper edge. These also feel thinner to me, but I don't think they are. They are, however, back here where this lip is. It's a little bit thinner of the lip back here, which uh, I guess is to make this a little bit shorter. On to the second car in our set. Now, I do want to say, it's kind of bland. Now, don't get me wrong, I actually love these flat cars. I'm not a big fan of the snake, though. Eh. But um, I love these flat cars, but I kind of wish they'd done something a little bit more interesting. Um, like maybe, you know, something that he was carrying in the movie. I don't know. But anyway, we'll do a 360 of this car. The front, the other side, and the back. And, of course, the top there. And then here's a look at the snake. Now, I don't like it too much, but, eh. Oh, oh well. And now it's time for the coolest part of this three-pack. Ace the Racer. So let's remove Ace real quick. We're going to save him for last. We're going to look at this flat car that he's included on. By the way, I love this thing. I don't like the gear wheels as much. I don't feel that was needed. Um, it does use the maiden coupler on the back, so I don't like that too much either. Um, and the new hoop coupler on the front. It is completely flat, though, except for these two pegs. So I plan on hopefully getting, like, tons more of this pack and just for this flat car. And then just filing down these two pegs and make my own custom rolling stock. Here's the front, the other side, and the back. All right, so here's Ace. I want to say they put so much detail into this three-pack with Thomas and Ace. I mean, just look. There's mud all over these spoilers. Um, the number 43, the stripes going all the way down the bottom, the painted windows, this separate mold up here for the tire. Well, uh, it's in the mold, but it's um, been, it's not like separately applied. It, you know, they inserted it from the bottom there. Still very cool. And there's the front, too, and you'll notice the painted windshield, the stripe continues all the way down. The super detailed face, I mean, it's incredible. The other side is basically the same, except it has this little icon there. And the back even has painted tail lights. One thing that Trackmaster notes on the package is that Ace actually rolls on Trackmaster track, and that is true. I don't really like that feature, but it's all right. And then here's the bottom, too. All in all, it, it's, um, it's made of plastic. He's really light, but it's made well, and I'm actually happy about it. Uh, I don't know. It's nice. All right, so now I'm going to give my final thoughts as we watch Thomas run around the layout. Let's go. All right, so all in all, this isn't a bad engine, and it's not a bad three-car pack. It's a great way to get Ace. You get a surprise face Thomas, and wonderful print on the Thomas as well. The only thing that I really don't like is the snake in the car. I feel it's kind of lazy just to include a flat car with a snake. But with the detail that they gave Ace and Thomas, I kind of want to allow it. But anyway, 
For Thomas fans who are not too much big fans of Big World Big Adventures, I think that's the perfect pack to get. Because if you just want the character Ace, you can get it without buying a huge set to get one exclusive character. Um, for kids, I think they'll love it. They'll love getting Ace and being able to run him on track, Master Track. And all in all, it is a good model for the money. Um, I am very happy about it and was very excited to find it at my local Walmart for only ten eighty eight. So, uh, very cool. Anyway, this is Thomas Friends 47 signing off. I hope you've enjoyed this look at Thomas and Ace the Racer. I'll see you guys again real soon. Bye.